your OpenRLink multimedia system is equipped with Google Maps to help you plan your electric journey. Google Maps enables you to calculate the optimal route taking into account any stops needed to recharge your vehicle. To access it, select the Navigation section. The map is then displayed showing your current position. To start a route, you can talk to Google by saying, for example, Hey Google, take me to the Eiffel Tower. You can also search manually by pressing the search bar here. Then enter an address or a point of interest, such as bakery, for example. The system will then suggest the most relevant addresses of bakeries. Depending on the distance and your level of charge, there are three types of journey you can take. If the destination is accessible without needing to recharge your vehicle, the estimated charge percentage at the destination is displayed here, and the estimated charge percentage upon your return to the point of departure is displayed here. In this case, you will not be needing a charging stop. If you select a new destination and a charging stop is required on your way, Google Maps will provide you with a list of charging terminals along your electric journey. Press Charging Stop and select the terminal of your choice. You can check the availability of charging terminals as well as the type and charging speed. You can also apply filters by choosing to display only charging terminals based on the charging speed or the accepted payment method. Press Add and the route will include the selected charging stop. Finally, on longer journeys, several charging stops may be required. When planning your electric journey on Google Maps, you can choose from a selection of stops optimized for your journey. By pressing Charging Stop, you can access the suggested charging terminals. The percentage of your vehicle's battery on arrival at these terminals as well as the charging time required. Press Start to start guidance. During your journey, you can access the various navigation settings by pressing the Settings icon. You can then activate or deactivate the Traffic function. The guidance sound or configure the route options. Note that you can also activate or deactivate the guidance sound directly from the navigation screen by pressing this icon. To display other route options, press here. You can add a stage to a point of interest by pressing this icon. To display a full view of the journey with arrival time at destination and expected charging times, press here. You can choose between different view modes of the route by pressing this icon. You can choose between a view mode that shows your position facing north or on three-dimensional terrain. The orientation towards the direction of travel will then be automatic. You have the option to display your route on the instrument panel screen. Two view modes are available. The minimum view where the information is displayed in the upper area of the screen and the full screen view. Note that these views are only available with Google Maps.